aka the serial doodlist and today i'm back again for a brand new special sunday video i addressed in my last video which came out saturday the reasons of my absence for last week's upload and i'm happy to just be back and on schedule and making brand new videos this video is a special video because it's a drawing application review as well as an extra review that i usually throw out on wednesdays or thursdays so i'm ending this old week with a brand new video so let's get right into it like I said this is a digital app review one of my first time ever doing a digital app review I'm very excited and let's get right into it so this application is called Medibang Colors as you can see on the screen and you can see right after it is an application called Medibang Paint Medibang Paint is pretty much a comics drawing app that works very much like a combination of Manga Studios Pro and Photoshop together in one in one very handy application that you can download from the Google Play Store. But today we're going to be focusing on Medibang Colors because I think it is a perfect application for practicing raw coloring. And what I mean about raw coloring is drawing and practicing the concept of colors without layers. And I'm going to get into that by clicking and starting this full blown tutorial and review. So right off the bat, you guys can see that it is a coloring book first, where you can scroll between different options for you to practice your coloring. Not that many options, but again, the concept is to practice your coloring and to just get your creativity out. There's also on the bottom, you see right next to it, a create option where you can actually create pieces of artwork, where you can create line art by drawing a picture on a white canvas and coloring the image. You can create a line art from your photos or you just click onto the photo application and pretty much just upload your photos and create line art from it. Basically just scanning and pretty much creating line art from your gallery. So opening up your gallery and taking a photo from your gallery and making line art from it. And my mistake, creating a line art from photo is just simply taking a photo of your artwork or whatever you're taking a photo of it and creating line art from it. And then you have a free option where it's connection area right now on my phone because I'm on airplane mode, so I'm not disturbed. But pretty much everyone's art will pretty much give you a long list of everybody's art that they color using this application where you can just be inspired by seeing so many people's artwork, which is really awesome to see all those coloring styles all without the use of layers. And then you have the your art section, which you would press and they would show you the cavalcade of artwork that you've done or you're going to do. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to click on the coloring book and we're going to go into just using one of these to color. So I'm going to choose her because I've already pre-colored her before, which I'm going to actually show you guys in a time lapse video to give you guys an idea of how to use this application. And again, this is just one way of using this application. There are so many ways. And yeah, so you would just swipe left or right for the ones that you would like to choose to color in and I'm going to choose this one and then you would go begin coloring and as you see right here it is completely black and white full-blown line art to be ready to color and I said that this learning how to color when you're coloring especially on paper you kind of don't have layers unless you're flipping between tracing sheets and how you learn to color is by pretty much layering on top of the actual page that you're doing. How I learned how to color, and I'm still learning, is the old-fashioned traditional way. So I thought, if I could do it the traditional way, can I also do it without the use of layers? And don't get me wrong, layers is the most amazing way and the most proficient way to actually color something and get all the detail into your artwork without actually damaging the original raw file. But I also believe that you should also be able to know how to color things completely on its own as well. It's just my personal opinion. And I think Medibang Colors is a perfect way to just practice blending and mixing things together that gives you that sleek feel. Because nine times out of ten, if you're just doing a doodle or something for fun, it's fun to just draw something raw. So let's get into the capabilities. So if you click here where you see those multiple colors, you have color palettes that you can conveniently choose from. From basic, light, dark, skin tones flower, vivid, grays, reds, and so on. I think it's really handy and if you click them, like I click these greens, you can change the spectrum of the green. So here you go, see that? And if I go darker, look at that. 
So let's go back and back. That's pretty interesting. And let's choose from one that's like random, like this dark. And then you have all these dark colors that you can also choose from. Right next to it is the brushes icon where you can choose different type of brushes. Basic app for basic uses. So you have basic brushes, you have bucket fills, uh, pens, airbrush, crayon, thick brush, flat brush, and gradations. So let's click on the pen. And then on the bottom, you have these three options that I haven't really played with yet. But um, there's automatic, which will allow you to color within the lines. So let's take a look at that. Wow, look at that. No spillage. That's kind of cool. And saves time. Wow. So you can draw in the lines with that. Let's hit back and back. Let's click on that again. Freehand. Click OK. Color while ignoring lines. And then let's go back, go back. And let's click on Expert. Color the area that you tap. Let's try. So we'll tap here. Oh, it's just like Photoshop. That's kind of cool. And then you just fill that in. That's pretty cool. I kind of wish I used this for my tutorial. It would have been a lot more easier. Wow. I feel like a dummy. Well, I did mine the old-fashioned freehand way, which is nothing's wrong with that. And it really allowed me to practice mixing and matching things. Um, yeah, so let's cancel that. You have the opacity where you can make it as light or as full as possible. And you have the sizing, which you can go really large or very, very small. That's not too small. Okay, there you go. Small. Really cool stuff. Let me go back. Let's go back. Back to freehand. Okay. And pretty much that's about it. Here is the back button and the forward button, and I believe this, let's see what this top button does. Oh, I think it just, oh, okay, it allows you to move it, I think. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, wow, I didn't know that. The top, so that top finger button allows you to move it around. Pretty badass. It's a pretty simple app. You can do what you need done, clear, reset, display, preview, and tutorial. Oh, wow, that's cool, they have tutorials, so, wow, you didn't even need me. I could have just let this player and put the tutorial and let it rock. Man, technology is scary like that. But um, yeah, it's a pretty simple app that allows you to color. And right now I'm going to actually now get into the detail of me just doing a time lapse video and talking about a little bit of my experience using it. So let's get into that part. I'm not going to talk too long in this video process because I just want you guys to pretty much enjoy my uh attempt to digitally color so i'll just give you a small background about my digital art background which is pretty much non-existent and my experience using this application and why i re recommend it so right off why i recommend it as i touched earlier i think it's a great way to practice using uh colors and mixing colors without using layers that way when it comes time to actually use layers you'll be far more proficient and know what you're doing i think that's awesome as someone who barely knew what a layer was a couple of years ago this was just really great practice and I feel like I understand layers a lot more now and I'll be playing around with them a lot more in the future for more digital art pieces because I do a lot more graphic design, more typography, uh, visual album cover style digital art which is great but I'd like to branch out and actually just really expand my repertoire. Um, one thing to note about using this application, the pixels I would say when it comes to uh, coloring sometimes it's just too large like right now I'm mixing around different uh, sizes in terms of using the pen because I would go down to like 11 and I'd still find that it would be far too large and bleed through the original line art which was a little frustrating so I'd have to go all the way down to three which was still fairly large so that's just something to uh, take into account and some countermeasures is probably to move to using airbrush or just using smaller uh, pixels for smaller sections for detail and larger section pixels for you know larger areas with which you uh, cover like obviously I airbrushed the skin because that's a safer bet that I would be able to erase the eraser is pretty decent and good it's a lot it reminds me of Photoshop and uh, Manga Studios Pro which I've barely used but um, I have fun when I do use them I mostly use Photoshop to resize images and make them print ready um, I plan on using Photoshop more in the future um, again, this was just a really great experience. I really like mixing the thick brush lines along with the detail of um, 
the airbrush. The airbrush probably is my most favorite thing to use when it comes to coloring. Um, one thing to note also is it's always best to like save mid drawing. That way you don't have to redo stuff. Because unfortunately when I was making this video, I wanted to do it in two parts. And I forgot to save midway. And it erased one whole segment of my uh, time lapse video, which really sucked because I really liked the color. So you'll see that I'm recoloring her again at a certain point in this video. And you might be like, what? That's because I didn't save it manually. But um, Medibang often auto saves. So don't rely on it auto saving too much. You want to actually get in there and manually save it yourself. But um, overall, it's a very great application for practicing color. It's a great application for just raw drawing. It's pretty much like super professional fun MS Paint on crack with a coloring book. Which, you know, you can't go wrong with that because everyone starts started with MS Paint, right? I even started doing some college projects back in the day with MS Paint that I got like A's for where people who are using Photoshop got like D's for being too overly complicated. It's really weird how professors work. But yeah, this has been my uh, small tutorial and review of Medibang Colors. And this has been me doing a small little time lapse video of me doing cool art with, with it. Well, I wouldn't say art. I would say filling in the lines because it's not my art. But the anime girl is pretty cute. I'm an anime fan. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to me. As of this video, I realize I have 22 subscribers. The last video that was literally a couple of hours ago, Saturday, was 21 subscribers. So I'm shocked that I keep growing that fast. Thank you guys for uh, jumping on the Serial Duelist bandwagon and going on this journey with me as I create art. And thank you to the Day One Edition subscribers that started off with me. It means the world to me. And it just, wow. You guys keep me on my toes because I'm always trying to find new ways to make videos that are not too repetitive. Um, so again, thank you so much. Um, oh, also, I just want to drop one more pointer while I'm here because I often ADD. One of the greatest things I have learned that I'm going to take into my Photoshop adventures is the color picking tool. There are times where I got careless and just bled my colors around, knowing that I could fix it up with an eraser. But I said, screw that. Why don't I just color pick from a section and refix the area using the color picker? And that has been the greatest thing ever. Oh my god, I love it so much. I'm starting to love digital art. It's, it's like crack when you actually learn it well and have fun with it. So I'm having fun. And that's the important part. And you should always have fun with the things that you do and the things that you love. And if you're not having fun, find ways to make it fun or take a little break and get back to it and make and realize why you love it in the first place. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if you just want to watch it, just watch it. Because I do a lot of just watching on YouTube as well, but I show my support. So again, thank you. Don't want to sound like a broken record. Enjoy the rest of this video that's probably going to end soon.